There are giant centipedes, jellyfish, Japanese hornets, snakes, and vipers. Unless you come right in the middle of winter, and those are the vicious, vicious. Greetings from Tokyo, it's Kathy Cat. This time we're going to talk about five dangerous animals you need to avoid when you're here in Japan. Also, don't forget if you're new to a channel to subscribe for more information, news, and travel tips from and to Japan. <laughs> Number five, insects in Japan might be a lot bigger than back in your country. That's because there's a very tropical climate here in summer. For example, there are giant centipedes. I know, it sounds like the stuff out of nightmares. It is. They get about this big? They're huge, have loads and loads of legs, and they actually are poisonous. So, it, apparently, there haven't been any noted cases of people. Dying from the poison, but it still is a, it's something that you should definitely go straight to the doctor if you get bitten by one of those. And again, they will be in nature, um, so watch out for those and don't play with them because seriously, they can bite. Number four, jellyfish. Now, Japanese people love bathing in July, but once it gets to August and later in the summer, more and more jellyfish will appear. Now, some areas, some bathing areas on the beach will actually have a little net to keep the jellyfish out. So be careful, don't go outside of the net because you might get stung by the jellyfish. It hurts a lot and it's really an experience you don't want to have. Also, uh, you need to see the doctor after that as well. So definitely, Listen to the people around you. Don't go into the waters where you're not allowed to swim. Also, if you go to the beach, some convenience stores near the beach will have some medicine to help you against the jellyfish sting. Sting, stung, stung, because it happens quite a lot in that area. If you're lucky and it's a guided area, so there will be some, be some beach guards or similar like that, or Baywatch kind of type, they will be there and then they will help you as well in case you get stung by a jellyfish. Again, don't play with them and try not to go outside the designated swimming area. Number four are Japanese hornets. They are big, they are vicious, and they will attack humans. So they are actually quite the the sting is very serious because it's very very potent. So there have been reported cases from 30 up to 40 people dying from their sting. So that's definitely a situation you do not want to be in. Don't provoke them by moving your arm. Don't make them angry. Uh, apparently, to a page that I looked up, it said just try not to move. Ideally, lie down flat on the ground, but ideally don't go near them. If you see one of them or you know that there is a nest. Don't go. Don't go to check them out. Don't go close. According to the director right now also, if you wear something black, they might mistake you some, for some kind of other animal. In that case, they might come and attack you too. So try to avoid wearing colors that are too dark out in the wild as well, in case you go on a hiking trip somewhere where you might encounter them. Number two, snakes and vipers. Yes, Japan has snakes, Japan has vipers. Very, very known is the habu, which is also used in the habushu in Okinawa. It's a snake that appears in the area of Okinawa and they sometimes put it actually in a kind of alcohol. That one is poisonous. And one of the things is it can also cause disabilities. Serious, serious stuff. Also, the director has found a very, very, even higher poisonous snake recently in his neighborhood. And uh, that was an Instagram story that was kind of dangerous. And he, he, he knows how to deal around wild animals in Japan. If you see a snake though, don't try and touch it. Director, you shouldn't be touching it either. On that note, if you get bitten by one of the snakes, directly go to the doctors. Hopefully there's someone else who can help you. Every minute counts, so be super careful. Ideally, when you go out into the wild in Japan, wear appropriate footing. Don't go out in flip-flops or shoes where 
you know, insects or animals might come and bite you. Be very, very careful about that. The nature here in Japan is wonderful, it's beautiful, but it does contain quite a lot of dangerous wild animals and insects. So watch out! Number one dangerous animal is the one that you will all encounter when you come to Japan, unless you come right in the middle of winter, and those are the vicious, vicious mosquitoes. Trust me, they will be different from where you're from. Generally, everyone I know, you get like really large stings of them. They are huge, they are vicious, they are faster than your insects. They are smaller than your insects. And oh my God, they're so much harder to catch, but you will definitely encounter those on your trip in Japan. Now, one thing to watch out for is some of them can carry a certain fever called the Dengue fever. That has been a big issue here in Harajuku before, so they had to close the Yoyogi Park and no one could enter it for a while, so be careful. Try to use some anti-mosquito spray and always have something ready for the stings. And if you feel ill or feverish after getting stung by a mosquito, go and see the doctor, because you'll have to go. Bears, boars, monkeys. These ones are the obvious creatures that you should stay away from. However, like we mentioned, these five other creatures, watch out for those. Try not to, try not to uh, play with them. Try not to interact with them. Try to stay away from them. Try to stay healthy, safe, and take care of yourself. We are gonna bring you out more information about what to be careful about when you come to Japan. So please subscribe so you don't miss those videos and tick on the notification bell. We release several videos a week, so there's always something to watch and always something to learn here from Japan. So I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to give us a like so we know you enjoyed this and I'll catch you soon for more stuff. This was Kathy Kat, this is Ash Japanese and I'll catch you soon. Bye!